Welcome to one of the webinars of the book How Winners Make Choices. In this webinar, we will explain how Ford wrecked Jaguar and how Tata revived Jaguar afterwards. Jaguar was founded in 1922. Initially, the company's name was Swallow Sidecar Company, but in 1945, the name changed to Jaguar. It has since then become a symbol of British elegance with its slogan, Grace, Space, Peace. In 1989, Ford made an offer for all Jaguar shares. So early 1990, Ford acquired Jaguar for more than $2 billion. The marriage between Ford and Jaguar is not successful. The three major mistakes of Ford that underlie this lack of success will be explained in the next couple of slides. The first mistake was that Ford reduced the autonomy of the management of Jaguar. So Ford started the integration process in a very arrogant way. The aim was to adjust Jaguar as quickly as possible to its new Ford environment. To realize this, Ford significantly reduced the autonomy of the management of Jaguar, even to the extent that Jaguars were designed in the US with very limited influence over the old Jaguar management. Given that Ford owned a couple of luxury brands in that period, Jaguar wasn't a priority for Ford. This is the second mistake. The third mistake stems from Ford's decision to build Ford and for Jaguar on the same platforms as much as possible. The identity of Jaguar was lost completely. This led to an apotheosis in 2000, when Ford released the Jaguar X-Type as a competitor of the BMW 3 Series and the Mercedes C-Class. Ford denied the differences between Ford and Jaguar and built the new X-Type on the Ford Mondeo platform. That choice, however, devaluated the Jaguar brand. Despite the wooden veneer, the consumer no longer recognized the English elegance, but only the mass appeal that characterizes Ford. These errors have had major implications for both Ford and Jaguar. Between 1998 and 2004, Jaguar had five different CEOs. Ford had invested approximately 50 billion into Jaguar. Despite a huge investment, Jaguar wasn't profitable in any year under Ford. In 2008, after a total investment of about $50 billion, Ford, at that time almost bankrupt, sells Jaguar Land Rover to Tata Motors. Land Rover was acquired by Ford from BMW in 1999 for 3.3 billion US dollars. Although Land Rover was occasionally profitable, Ford was also never able to recover her investment in Land Rover. So how did Tata then revive Jaguar? Tata understands Jaguar's identity much better than Ford and managed to give the brand a new boost. Tata doesn't restrict Jaguar or force it to fit within Tata Motors. In contrast, Tata allows Jaguar to rediscover its own soul. In 2010, the Jaguar team strengthened its mission by a number of former BMW directors. Jaguar gets way more autonomy from Tata than it ever got from Ford, which enables the brand to regain its British finesse. The new Jaguar XE, successor of the X, which, whose production was discontinued in 2009, was built on a second generation of XF chassis, the successor of the S-Type. Under Tata's wings, Jaguar Land Rover's revenue increased tenfold in eight years. In 2015, Jaguar Land Rover made a healthy 2.6 billion pound profit. Thank you for your attention and please also check out our website for more tools and cases.